We love Ghost. In fact, we love everything about Ghost, including the stuff that all Ghost haters hate. We love the pomp and circumstance of their live shows. We love the mythology that they've built around themselves. And most of all, we love the music. We think that Tobias Forge is a damn genius, if truth be told. Here is someone who is a blatant student of metal and rock, but is intelligent enough to know that you catch more fish with a good hook than a bad one, so he isn't afraid to use pop sensibilities to make the songs he writes catchy and memorable. Now, we're not so completely in love with Ghosts that we don't find some of their tunes out of our wheelhouse, but we appreciate them for what they are and then skip over them when they come on. Yet, overall, as far as we're concerned, Ghost hasn't put a foot wrong. That is until this new release, Phantom Mime. Phantom Mime is a misstep. It's not a massive misstep, but it's a misstep nonetheless. Before we get into why, there are pros to the record. As you'd expect from Ghost, musically, it's spot on. Nearly every song is a faithful reconstruction, given a Ghost twist. The covers of Phantom of the Opera and Jesus He Knows Me are pretty much note for note. And where it's more obvious that The Stranglers Hanging Around has been adapted to suit the Ghost formula, it's still done incredibly well. We cannot pick fault musically with any of the songs on offer, but where Phantom Mind falls down is Tobias Forge's vocals. Tobias Forge is a clever man and knows his limitations as a vocalist, so all of Ghost's material is written to suit his range and that's why it works so damn well. But put him in the shoes of another singer, such as Paul Diano on Phantom of the Opera, and it just doesn't work. It's flat and uninspired. It doesn't possess any of the satanic messes of Ghost's entire body of work to date, and worst of all, it sounds like a band covering other people's songs. The kind of band you can find in any bar on a Friday night, playing for drinks and the thrill of a three-person crowd that claps at the end of every song before returning to their own warm beers. Hell, he doesn't even manage to sound inspired on Jesus He Knows Me, and that was sung by Phil Sodding Collins for Christ's sake. The only time it does work, as far as we're concerned, is on the Stranglers cover, but one out of five is not a good average. Look. We don't hate Phantom Mime, but we do feel it's going to be nothing more than a forgotten footnote in the career of Ghosts when they finally hang up the mask and the face paint, and that makes us sad. Everything Ghost does should be an event, and this is more like a picnic in a rainstorm than a banquet in a castle. But what do you think? Do you agree with us? Is this a misstep, or are we wrong about Phantom Mime? Sound off in the comment section and let us know.